okay uh, this is part two of uh, the sqlite uh, um, uh, tutorial and um, uh, for the sake of uh, uh, time we are uh, i mean so far we have created the employee bo and now we are creating the employee data control and uh, uh, for that what we have to do is um, basically we'll create another uh, helper class um, uh, to get uh, the db connections whenever we want so the uh, the class name would be db connection factory and uh, uh, we'll uh, paste this code here and we have some uh, imports that needs to be done and now so basically what it does is whenever you uh, you ask i mean you you call it get connection uh, from the db connection factory what it does is it goes to the, uh, the that particular directory and uh, it appends that with the hr.db and then it creates a new da jdbc data source and then it asks for connection so this is pretty much uh, the helper class that we need and now we go to employee dc and i'll paste the code uh, uh, Mm, from here so so what we uh, uh, basically do is we'll create a uh, mm, class employee public employee bo mm, and uh, get employees and what we get in in, in return is um, we'll uh, create oh, uh, we'll create employees equal to null and then um, we'll call employees equal to uh, get employees from db that's it and then we'll create that method here and uh, uh, again for the sake of time we'll uh, copy the code that i have already written but that is for uh, um, country so i have to make some changes um, to this script uh, so we'll start importing things first I like to do it manually because that will eliminate uh, lots of uh, errors mm, okay so now I have a connection uh, that is set up I have so I'll, 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 uh, the, the script so this is basically what it does is um, it has it, it starts getting a connection and I, I'll give you all this code uh, uh, I, I'll, I'll post uh, the uh, I mean source file uh, links in the same YouTube uh, video so uh, no worries but uh, I mean uh, let us look at the script what it does so it, it, it creates a connection it gets connection from the helper class that we have created it's always better to create this helper class this will uh, make things life I mean make uh, make uh, make things better uh, easier for us so now we'll create a statement and then uh, we have a result set and uh, we'll start executing the queries so uh, select employee id employee name and dept id from employees and uh, we have an employee bo which would be employee and uh, this would i mean we'll create an employee bo uh, object and then uh, employee so we'll, we'll try to rewrite this employee dot set employee id 
and uh, this would be new integer of the result dot get string of employee id and then Uh, did I did I miss something here? Set employee ID should actually get it. Oh, uh, this would be sorry. Okay result dot get int of employee id hold on so employee dot set employee id will be new integer of result dot get get string of employee id oh uh, i shouldn't write this actually so the problem is you go to the employee and uh, uh, this should be integer i'm sorry for this and let us make this as integer and now come back here and uh, um, employee dot uh, set employee id new integer of result dot get string uh, of employee id Um, did I miss here or um, I have to make lots of changes here so uh, okay now I'll create the accessor response again so this time things will be easier so now this is gone now employee dot set employee name uh, result dot get string whatever uh, employee name and employee dot set dept id and uh, now this involves integer of result dot get string of the apt id so let us remove this part and uh, we'll add employee here for that uh, array list uh, okay sorry and uh, now we'll close the connection so we have and at the end we have employee bo employee bo so we'll we are we are going to return them save it save them all uh, return them the employee object so return employees so here, um, so so we basically created employees and asked uh, the get employees from DB to actually retrieve the employees. And here, what we are doing is we are getting it from the system. So we are creating the connection here, and uh, uh, we are uh, uh, having results at result equal to statement or execute query, and uh, we just. Uh, uh, get all the required information i think uh, uh, this is pretty much uh, self-satisfying self-explanatory um, so we i just 
pause it for a while so that you can uh, go through the code once again and uh, that's it so now we have the get employees from db script ready so ev everything i mean get employees is ready so everything is ready uh, to actually uh, what do you call uh, uh, show it to the uh, screen so now um, let us create a D data control out of it so that we can use it uh, for our um, uh, did i miss something here hold on for a sec let me okay we have a couple of uh, uh, exceptions that are uh, very easy to figure it out um, I'll, I'll suppose the uh, updater script i've added io exception here uh, which was missing earlier so uh, so then we i have created uh, the data controller out of it and um, um, if i look at my data controls i have employee dc ready with me so uh, now now what we do is we will uh, uh, create the uh, create an uh, um, a, a small page for it so we go to uh, a feature and uh, this is ui ui page and uh, click on okay and the content would be a normal amx page so this is pretty much fine so um, you save it and uh, create an emx page um so this would be ui page and uh, my page is ready so um, what i'll do is i'll go to uh, the employee dc employees and i'll put it here i'll put it as a list view Mm, that's fine so list item employee ID that's fine for me so I'll create it so let us see the preview fine I'm okay with it and uh, now let us deploy it that's fine Android applications debug is fine for me um, okay deploy it deploy to the emulator because my emulator is already running let us wait till it finishes okay okay so here is uh, the app that is running with uh, the employee details Satya James Chris etc and a couple of things that you have to uh, uh, remember is when you are uh, dragging the employees make sure that you have employee name as the filter criteria or the display criteria and uh, in the employees.sql file uh, I missed uh, values uh, uh, keyword here uh, please make sure that you point that and in the lifecycle uh, uh, no in the IDF application um, please make sure that you you are pointing to uh, 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 the unique identifier that you have. So with this, um, um, with with the, the demo that is uh, working fine. So uh, I uh, conclude this uh, tutorial uh, uh, working with the SQLite. Um, enjoy uh, your day. And uh, uh, in the coming uh, tutorial, you will see uh, uh, how to work. Uh, uh, with Google Cloud messaging uh, 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 from the ADF mobile. Uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks. Good luck. Bye bye.